uh, something doesn't add up. And one argument to all this is that, uh, you know, you should not look back at this case. Uh, it's settled. Don't oh, reopen a can of worms. Uh, who's going to benefit? Sunanda Pushkar is no more and the family is not objecting and Shashi Tharoor is not asking questions. And if Shashi Tharoor himself is not asking questions, then what is it anyone's business to talk about it? The other side is that somehow this whole thing doesn't add up. And you have the man who's heading the forensics department at AIMS saying, I was under pressure to doctor the report, and that too from politicians, then it needs to be talked about. With me in the studio, from the left, Lalita Kumaramangla, spokesperson and member of the National Executive of the BJP. And uh, to her left is uh, Sabah Nakvi, political editor of Outlook. Kavita Krishnan, National Secretary of the All India Progressive Women's Association, Politburo member of the CPI, uh, uh, is also with us today. Shehzad Poonawala is a political analyst and founder for YouthForCongress.com. He feels this case should not be opened up, right? Have I got your perspe perspective right? And Ranjana Kumari, director of the Center for Social Research. Nice to have you back on the debates. Uh, Vinod Mehta of Outlook. Ashok Pandit, filmmaker and activist who says don't open this up. And Suresh Babu, general secretary of the Kerala Pradesh Congress Committee on Skype from Calicut, thank you very much. I hope you can hear me, Mr. Suresh uh, Babu. Now, I just want to start with you, Kavita. Where, where's your stand on this? Do you think it's adding up? Uh, I think that, you know, when so many months pass and you have different investig... I think uh, there's a shadow here over several investigative agencies. You have the uh, police saying nothing, having no closure, having nothing nothing to explain, no narrative to offer. You have the AIMS uh, post-mortem report saying one thing. You have the CFSL lab, as far as I go, these are only yeah. for what I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. based on media reports. Yeah. The CFSL lab contradicting what the AIMS uh, autopsy report said right. about drug overdose or poisoning, drug poisoning and so on yeah. and so forth. So when you have this kind of situation and then at the same time you have these strange leaks that happen. God knows who leaks what. Do you leaks, mean by what? Strange leaks? leaks meaning I, I, I saw that in media there were leaks about uh, claiming that uh, there are injury marks. The auto yeah. autopsy mentions injury marks. Yeah. Another leak saying oh that's all explained by a medical report that uh, shows yeah. that she was suffering from lupus yeah. or something like that. Now my point is that all these surely are questions which um, an, an investigation, proper forensic investigation, proper medical investigation should be able to settle how a person uh, no, it's a mysterious death. It. Nobody wants it's to an talk about it at They want to close it. They said matter settled and closed. Absolutely. Don't reopen How it. How can it be settled when your CFSL laboratory is saying something else? My point is that therefore this kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I find speculation in this kind of a mysterious death to be pretty ugly. I don't have anything to speculate on. But I am, you know, feeling uh, that we have to then ask the question, uh, why is it that in case after case you have investigative agencies uh, screwing up basically the investigation? So at the end of it, you know, you have an Arushi case, you have a Sunanda case, you have all these cases yeah, yeah. where crucial uh, time passes, and then at the end of it, you have all your investigative agencies at loggerheads with each other and no answers anyway. Well, this is and I also want to just say one thing about the political pressure thing. Yeah. I'm sure we'll talk more about that now. But I would like to mention that look, in this particular case, I don't know uh, 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 what is behind this doctors, whether, whether indeed there was pressure, if so, why didn't he say so earlier? This is my question. But I would like to briefly mention that there are two other instances I can think of where things did not add up in the Ames' Ames's own forensic reports. One was the Shopian rape case in Kashmir, where suddenly they came up and said, oh, uh, two women died of drowning in a, tie, in a little uh, nala, okay, where right. there's not enough water for anybody to drown at yeah. all. And they also claimed that four okay. months now, after they exhumed the body, okay. they found the hymen, uh, hymen Kavita, intact. Let's, I, I'll reopen ridiculous. it, but let's let's yeah. get the debate started. I, I, let's get the other side in here. Point number seven in my hand, ladies and gentlemen, is Dr. Sudhir Gupta's affidavit. Now, Dr. Sudhir Gupta is the head of the forensic department and toxicology department of AIMS. Uh, he is one of India's best experts. He's got the Medical Doctor of the Year Award, member of the Asia Pacific Association of Medical Toxicology. Uh, you know, he, every single expertise and cases from the BMW case to the Upar fire tragedy, everything dealt by him professionally. So he's not some quack. He knows his, his medicine. He says today, and Ashok Pandit, let's open the debate. He says today, in point number seven of his affidavit, he says, and I quote, it is further submitted that the fact that the said autopsy report of Sunanda Pushkar prepared by the applicant in the, in the Sunanda Pushkar matter is not as per the dictates of the director Ames who had personally called the applicant and asked him to give a clean shit in the late Sunanda Pushkar matter irrespective of the professional opinion of the applicant. This means that, that this man, the head of the forensics department was being told, just give it a clean shit, don't make it a matter now. 
that there should be a criminal investigation into this. Ashok Pandit. I just don't understand the logic of people who say, let's not talk about it. She's dead. Anab, uh, first of all, I never said that this should not be opened. In fact, I was a person who uh, very closely knew Sudanda, Sudanda Pushkar and I refuse to believe that that woman could have committed suicide. It's unbelievable. What I want to ask, I want, what I want, I'm concerned about is that if it would have not been Shashi Tharoor, if it would have been any other common man, I would have been behind the bars under section 306 and 107 Indian Penal Code because after seven years of marriage, if there is a mysterious death of your wife, of your husband, you are behind the bars. There was no investigation. There was no questioning as far as Shashi Tharoor is that. concerned. All the, all the, all the, all, there was no CCTV footage is shown uh, to the people People, what happened there and the answer the reason which was given that the door was locked from within the room it was a hotel door it was not a door of your drawing room of your house the master keys are with with the hotel authorities what kind of reasons uh, and here's an email ladies and gentlemen report so what so what what Sdeer Gupta is saying my salutes to him timing is not important there is a sensitive case where a woman's a dignity of a woman there's a mark corner on, on, on a throat, nothing was open. An email so is sent. There's a political pressure. An a political email is sent by Shashi Tharoor. No, no, one second. On top totally. of it, on top of it, an email is sent. Let's hold this up. An email is sent by Shashi Tharoor on 26th of January 2014. Right? She dies on 17th. Within nine days of that, he sends an email. The Shashi Tharoor's email. Mr. Tharoor, I'm asking you, did you send this email? He sends this email and he says in the email that this, this could be, and he says, I'm going to bring a matter to the attention of Dr. Mishra of Ames. He's the Ames head, I presume. So he's going to write to the Ames head about the issues which could have led to her death. At this point of time, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, logically, Shashi Tharoor is himself under suspicion. Can a man under suspicion, Sabah, and, and, and this goes to my parents, can a man under suspicion write to the Ames head no. saying this could be the reason? Not at all, can Anna. anyone do that? No, Is no, that not Anna, criminal Anna, itself? Yeah, can he do that? Uh, Sabha? When we're talking I'd about like Shashi to pass Tharoor, this on to you if you I want have that. nothing personal against Shashi Tharoor. Yeah, but sorry. on the day that Sunanda died, yeah, that's all right. Arnab, if you recall, on that day there was a Congress conclave in Delhi. He was there when his wife had checked into a hotel. Yes. I'm not uh, in, a, in a sort of hysterical condition. Yeah. He was there. We all saw him over yeah, there. He was there. Having said that, let us not forget how close Shashi Tharoor has been to the leadership. The leadership here leadership backed him for what? The, of Congress the Congress Party. party. Yeah. He was He's backed for the Secretary General of the United Nations when he had no chance, chance yeah. with it. And so he, he's powerful. He, he's, a, he's very, very well connected. And about the doctor, the timing of the report, all I have to say, I have so much faith in Ames as an institution yeah. that I don't believe that somebody who's the head of a department has, even if he's in a bad mood, even if it's in a fit of anger over promotion, that there's not an element of truth in what he's saying. And they just you want know? to close this matter now. Shahzad, is there any argument you have left here right now? This man is the professor and head of department of forensic medicine at Ames, involved in last 20 years of undergraduate and postgraduate teaching in Ames, Judiciary, Police and the CBI. One of India's best doctors, all the top cases dealt by him. The man puts an affidavit saying, I am under pressure. And we all know this whole story has never quite added up. And would you tell me, Shahzad, since you've come here to defend Shashi Tharoor, I presume, tell me, how can Shashi Tharoor write a letter to the top management of Ames regarding the cause of death of his wife under which he is himself under suspicion around the 26th of January 2014. I have answers for all three of your questions. First of all, nobody is saying close the probe. If you've read Shashi's statement which I sent to you, he says that I want and he says that the family too wants a thorough investigation to be concluded in a conclusive manner, in a detailed manner. And let's remind ourselves that it's a BJP run Delhi How police. is Shashi Tharoor? No, no what do you mean BJP run? No, no, it, it is What's important. the BJP I'll tell you why it is. Because the BJP he, is telling the head of forensics department to, to try and no, implicate Anna, Shashi Tharoor. The allegations that are being made are of pressure and influence. So obviously you won't, won't say that a Congress member of parliament will have influence in a system run by the BJP people. But MH, did the Delhi Congress Delhi member, MH, did the Congress member, Minister and member of parliament have, have that. influence over the Congress I'm government. To that. Lalita, Lalita no, no, Kumar, no, 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 you haven't let me complete. No, 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 no you're making a point. You're making a point. You're saying it's political. It's very unfair. I think you should let me have my say because I've not answered all the points that you said. It's political. No, I So let me let me complete the context in which I'm saying it. Lalita, let's. You will get your chance, and I will not interrupt you. I promise you. 
as a, as <laughs> about the allegations that were made about the very respected Dr. Gupta, your reporter Vijay Kao, he's from your channel, he says in his live reportage that the timing can be questioned because here is a case where internal wranglings for the HOD post are happening and he makes these allegations not when, one second sir no, sir, no, one second. the timing can be sir, questioned one second. That, 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 I'm not saying no, it my, my, my question Anab is, is my, Anab, my, my question is that Anab, a simple question goes out to Anab, you Anab, no no one second Anab you are giving a homily to Dr. Gupta your reporters are saying that we should question the timing Bro, I'm, I'm not saying Sh Shaza, you got, you got saying it so completely wrong Ashok Ashok Pradhan is saying You've got it so completely wrong. No, no. You may find it completely no, I'll tell wrong you because what. I represent that point of view which is not suitable to you. You are not opening yourself up to the possibility Let that what? Can, I, can I make a point to you? No, you cannot you make till I answer no, no, you listen to me on one point. Can you want one, to know about the there, emails, Is huh? there any denying that Shashi Tharoor was in a position of power, that he had the connections to relay information directly no, to the ANC director? Is there any denying that, that Shashi Tharoor no longer holds a position of power where he can influence things and it is of government that can conduct a fair probe? No, let me complete. Sabha, just give me. No, no, no. But this is I promise you, just give me 10 more seconds. Just give me 10 more seconds. Just give me 10 more seconds. Just 10 more seconds. I'm counting. Ashok, yeah, please count. Ashok is saying, let there be a criminal investigation. Does he think that a criminal investigation is not going on? Let me remind you that an SDM probe is an automatic. One second. Please, the women on the panel, an SDM probe takes place automatically when seven years have not been completed. Let me remind you that these email exchanges have happened between the you say they have been sent to the director of AIDS, not to this person conducting the probe, and they are in the knowledge of Kavita, they are in the knowledge of the sub magistrate. If you are yeah. implying, no, are you are you challenging me on that, Arnab? I challenge you to challenge me on whether this is in the knowledge of the uh, sub magistrate. My question. I challenge you. Put your money where the mouth is. Put your money. No, sub sub, ed, sub, sub divisional magistrate who is who is foreseeing the who is this all the situation? One second. One second, Arnab. You are not telling the people the truth. You are not telling your panelists the truth. You should tell them that the sub divisional magistrate who is overseeing the Delhi police probe is of knowledge that this exchange has happened. He has. Okay. Okay, so one what? more, one more thing. So Please let me complete. I no, 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 Shahzad, you said 10 seconds, your time is up. No, your time is up. These, if at all these illegalities are so You're great, then the influence is One, one is second, now we heard you, Shahzad. We heard you, Shahzad, and, right, I, I and, I, and I heard you. No, one second. You now you will have to hear the other side as well, my friend. Right. One second. Now, now, you, you made an accusation here. You made an accusation here, and the, and the point being made, and Shahzad, please don't speak over me. The, the point being made here by Shahzad Punawala, who's trying to make a very spirited defense of Shashi Tharoor, is that poor Mr. Shashi Tharoor is the victim of a conspiracy somehow hatched by a BJP government, and there is an attempt to, to get him in on a case he knew nothing about. Now, what? The, oh, no, one second. Therefore, as I, I hand over, that, as I hand over, as, as I hand over to the I others, Shahzad. Shahzad, Shashi Tharoor was a complete detailed probe. I've implied that these email exchanges in the knowledge of the subdivisional magistrate who's looked after this inquiry and despite that and AIMS which is after the health minister took cognizance AIMS comes out and says this well, entire then, then, then theory is baseless your about point. your esteemed doctor there's and now a, finally if, there, if the if the misgivings I, are so I, blatant I, for the last one month Rajnath Singh is he cooking eggs so in the Ministry of Home Affairs why, why so isn't nervous? he taking charge of it why isn't he taking Delhi police SDM CFSL to task when they have manipulated the probe for the last one month so you admit that probe is manipulated Singh an accomplice to murder. Is Rajnath Singh an accomplice to this murder? If Russian is, poison has like been used according to an allegation peddler in the BJP. So, no, one second. If Russian poison has been used, why is Rajnath Singh still not doing what is required of him? Is he an accomplice in this murder? One if Shazad, 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 now murder, you're, you know your 10 seconds are 10 minutes and you stop right now. These are the so rules of the debate. Shazad, Shazad, I say one thing. Now, now yeah. listen, listen to me. Okay, one second. Shazad. Yes. When you say things like murder, you're making a big admission there. Swami Think about what you're saying. Their yeah. allegation so you believe sentence. Swami. You can't take Swami's argument to build a case on the other side. Oh, the that means you go by Swami. About, is about ah, Lalita Kumaramangalam on the charge that poor Mr. Shashi Tharoor is being fixed by the BJP. Not by the BJP, by one allegation peddler. In Lalita the Kumaramangalam's turn. First of all, uh, I want to put it on record that the BJP has not said anything exactly. against Mr. Tharoor. We have said that since there has been a letter written to Dr. Um, Harshwardhan and he is today the, the uh, cabinet minister for health, he will take cognizance of the letter and according to the law, he will take whatever action needs to be taken. 
Now, what I'm going to say after this is not merely as BJP spokesperson, but as a woman in India yeah. who has seen, God knows, and heard about how many thousands of women who've been killed by their husbands or other people. Again, I'm not saying Mr. Tharoos is guilty. It's too soon to just say who is guilty or who's not. The point here is that a very senior, very respected doctor has made an allegation saying that there was pressure put on him. To s- please, you said you wouldn't. Let let us speak. You said you wouldn't interrupt me. You said you wouldn't interrupt me. Why are you interrupting me? Why isn't she putting that? Why aren't you letting us speak? Why are you not letting me? Why aren't you letting us speak? I'm saying. Why? No, no, no. Not your job. Intervene, Shahzad. Of the Prime Minister has come out and said these allegations are baseless, and they have also said to Padmaja Joshi on record that the misgivings of Dr. Gupta are on record. BJP. No, no, First no, of no. all, it's an insult to AIMS, to that institution, to say they belong to either the Congress or the BJP. Oh, no, we can it's man- a no, man- man- a man- 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 You put pressure on them, you can manipulate Achha. them. He has not but said... But what is the pressure right now that they can... We have not, he has not said... We, we have not put any pressure. Exactly. He has said that so pressure has been put said that earlier. Shaisa, the minute, please. Minute, please. Let us speak. Ranjana hasn't even come in. Why are you making a case for me? We have not said that Shashi Thirur or anybody else is guilty. One second, Shaisa. Swami is not the BJP. The BJP today is said. represented by either me Swami today is, on this. Swami is ahead so why should I say anything against Subramaniam Swami? That we are not discussing him. My problem is with him. Don't you be ridiculous. You are sounding absolutely. I'm sorry to use a strong word, but it's very acceptable. I am well, that what is this whole thing about? Don't you talk to Swami. Swami. Don't talk to the BJP. Mr. Punawala, I request you. Come on. Why are you not allowing us to talk? Are you afraid that people will find something fishy in the whole matter? Are seeing your unbridled enthusiasm? Make your point by all means, but. And it's very important. And allow otherwise, others otherwise, to also make that point. Otherwise, points. you know, it's not a fair program. Yeah, you have, f- you have four, four okay. w- women here who have a. But it's five spoken. against one. So no, I need no, that you, much no, time. Come on, now what gender bias is this? Uh, uh, what? Yeah, we are not against anybody per se. Extremely serious issue where exactly. credibility of an institution is at stake. Yes. Who put pressure? Nation notes uh, wants to know who is this p- person in yes, the ministry? Sure. Was it the minister himself or somebody else who put pressure on Ames? As and why this doctor was quiet for so long? These are questions. So that means that there are two types of citizenry in this country. One is the VIP and one is the normal people. VIP, you can kill your wife, you can do whatever you want to do, you can murder, you can do anything. I don't know whether he did it or not, but there is a big question mark. There are six stories in the market today through the media fed to the people of India about this murder. And and you are accepting it as a murder, so I'm calling it as no, a murder. No, because you did say if it is a murder, then of course the Home Minister is accomplice to the murder. Exactly. But at the, because that let means you're saying it is a murder. Speak. So, 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 I, so, so today we need to know that what kind of a pressure was put and why the doctor was quiet for so long and what kind of, because investigations are done by a team and forensic investigations are done only when uh, death happens in unnatural circumstances and there is a group of people, doctors who investigate. So where are those people? They should come and make some kind of a statement, the other doctors who were part of that team because this is throwing many, many questions of credibility of the investigation machi- machinery is also use of power to cover the person who is a powerful person. I so agree. powerful people could be covered. I agree with and you. they can get scot through doing anything. They can abuse power. That's what we are trying to tell the country that, you know, so don't please, in your defense, please let us know what really happened, if you know it. I do. If you, so I would like so to. So please, yes. As yes, I think you would like to. Know. Shazad, I'm going, I'm going I, 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 to Vinod Mehta and, 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 and Suresh Babu. One second. I'd like to go to Vinod Mehta and Suresh Babu. Suresh Babu, I think you can hear me now. All kinds of questions are now being raised about the credibility of this man, Sudhir Gupta. Right? And and it is said that he is a vindictive man. He's got his own personal interest. He was superseded for a post. He was not promoted. And that's why he's raising these issues now. Now listen to me. Our our reporter was saying what Ames was saying. Okay? Now the fact is, I just care to listen, Shaza. We we have all these documents, right? Suresh Babu, just think of it logically. Everybody is saying today that this man, Sudhir Gupta, his past record is questionable, etc., etc. All the documents which we have are dated. One. Additionally, this man is today the director of forensics at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. You can't, Suresh Babu, bury what he is saying. You can't raise past matters. It has no merit in this case and say that, you know, this man is vindictive. He has a, he has axe to grind and that's why he's saying all this thing in the Sudanda Pushkar case. Because 
he wouldn't be director today had any of these things been substantial. But his own institution has now, discredited his claims. Why aren't you saying that? Institution is, institution is it still under oh, us? Hang on. What's uh, what's someone else Saba. Say. Obviously, okay. there's a bit, there's, you just have to apply logic here. Okay. The institution has been embarrassed. It, the bureaucracy of the institution has kicked in to say this cannot be true. Perhaps this gentleman on his way out decided to, to have a tan. But we, we, no, no, please, let, me finish. let me finish, Shazad. Don't keep shouting. But obviously, we, cannot, we, we can't question his record as the, as the head of the laboratory in All India Institute of Medical Sciences. He's not a quack. He's not a quack. Please let me finish. Shazad, one minute. Shazad, one minute. You please, please. I'm moderating this now. Yeah. And, and by the way, what could he get from making this? public, he's having a temper tantrum, he's revealing what he thinks is the public knowledge. I don't know the gentleman, but what is he trying to, I mean, are we sort of seeing a grand conspiracy? Are we implying that he's trying to, in the week before the budget comes out, somebody in the BJP has got a hold of a forensic person in AMs to fix Shashi Tharoor? Is that, I mean, I mean, you know, is that the, is that what we are asking? It's, it's a, you know, I'm not, let me ask you, I am asking you, what can be the, you yourself said I wish I was in the studio. Yes, I wish you Yeah, were. yeah, I'm, I, I am online. Let me control Shazad Kumawala, who has gone out of control. I want him to stay on the free the way. Please, don't make us Please, don't make us sexist. I'm just making a joke. I'm so he's supposed to Arnab. be yes. or to be, to be a, a victim. This is a very is serious a matter we are discussing. We are discussing whether Sunanda Pushkar was murdered or whether she committed suicide. Yes, I think the two poles of this argument are very serious. Now the question that I want to ask Dr. Gupta, who says that he was under some pressure from AIMS to tamper with the report, I think we can g solve this problem quite easily. Dr. Gupta should come out in the open and say, did he tamper or did he not tamper? Did he stand up to one the minute. pressure the or did he not? not one minute. That's he what said that. Said. Just a did minute. Did not stand up to the pressure. And if this is, if no, this is now that. a matter of police inquiry, <coughs> the police commissioner should call or whoever is investigating the case should call Dr. Gupta and ask him what the what what you have alleged and how he has alleged and who are the people. So Dr. Gupta is the central figure in this controversy. Did he give in to the pressure or did he take the pressure and make an authentic report? If he has no, no, what's it? But, but I'm afraid, Mr. Gupta is but, but Virod Mehta. I am, I am amazed. I am amazed with Virod Mehta. Reaction. The fact that pressure was used. He is putting Dr. Gupta in the center. I mean, across the board, it gives every politician a very bad name. If pressure has actually been used, I am not using Dr. Gupta as a means. It should be. I mean, this must be taken into cognizance. If pressure was used. But say, Shahzad. Yeah, let Virod Mehta complete. I'm letting him. Suresh Babu. Suresh Babu, will Shashi Tharoor look back, look bad in this case by running away from the cameras? I mean, the question is, how did Shashi Tharoor send an email to the AIMS director or send information to the AIMS director, try to pass on information? Is that not a way of applying pressure? How can a person who is himself under suspicion at that point of time... Adnav, you can apply pressure, but Dr. Gupta is a very senior forensic doctor. Did he... Change the report due to the pressure, or was he a professor? That's not the issue. No, 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 That's no, 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 not. No, 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 this is petition. Shahzad, I'm confused. I'm going to Suresh Babu. Why don't you clarify to Suresh Babu, please? No, Suresh Babu from from Kalikat. Yes. Suresh Babu, please. See, the doctor Gupta has admitted or said that there there was a pressure on him, but I have. Have not succumb to that pressure that he has also admitted. What he has written is on, on his conscience and on the, on the basis of the uh, investigation or basis of the autopsy done by him. Not on any pressure, he has not changed his mind or changed any of the relevant documents which is pertaining to be in the report. So there is no pressure at all. It, it, he has raised this question so very subsequently after for some other motives which I do not know what exactly is.
Mr. Mr. Babu, just a minute. Yeah. What you are not yeah. getting into is that the whole case is now is not a big question mark over it. Did you know before today that there was possibly pressure put on the man who heads the forensic department at Ames? You didn't know that. I love the pressure question. I love the pressure question is very important. But I think more important than the pressure question is the professionalism, the authenticity if, if of the autopsy report no, that was submitted after Sunandas. No, no, what just a minute. No, no, Vinod no, Mehta. Vinod Mehta, how do I know? No, Vinod Mehta, how do I know? And how do you know today whether it was authentic or not? I don't know. What I'm saying is, therefore, Dr. Gupta should be examined. He should be investigated. He should explain. Did, no, I mean you can put no, pressure no, 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 on no, 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 How do we know? How do we know? How do we know? How do we know that the, he has he not yielded to the pressure or he yielded to the pressure? One How do we know? How do no no? You can you can know that. Shazad, please. But you ask me, Dr. Shazad, one second, Shazad. Will you let others make their points and come here? He has put total professionalism. He has put total credibility of the institution. He has put and you know question mark on the report that gets generated after the forensic investigation. So why and how do we believe that he did not succumb because to the, the pressure at that point of time? What makes you believe that? Murder. So both are open question now, whether he succumbed or not succumbed. Kavita Krishna. Yes, yes, yes. how Kavita do we believe that? that yeah. let's, let's, let's agree here. One second. Ka let's agree. One second, uh, Shahzad. Let's agree here. Let's agree. I think you will also agree. Let's agree here that his report said unnatural death. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it did not say clean it, nothing happened. He said unnatural death, whatever reasons, drug overdose, drug poisoning, etc. I, I believe this is what no, the report said. Do we right. agree? One minute. That's not no. right, Kavita. No. Uh, Shaza. Shaza. What you're doing tonight, I'm sorry to have to tell you like this. What you're doing tonight is that you're disturbing the program by constantly speaking over others. But because you're not you, giving you have a chance to, to put... No, no but Shehzad, Shehzad, you would... No, I'm telling you, Shehzad, if you want to behave like that, don't be on the program. I am you invited me to... Yeah, I invited you not to interrupt others. perspective and you want to carry on without putting full facts in the public domain. Then that's your choice of doing a debate. Shehzad, I think it's... Watch, watch, just a bit. I'll tell you something If you have called me here, give me the patient hearing that I can put all these issues in perspective. We have been hearing you constantly. Can I finish my point? No, 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 I just, just a bit. Just Kavita, 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 I'll just tell you this. I'm, I'm now telling you, and I'm saying this to you on your face. Yeah. If you want to speak over others, I'm giving you the option of walking off my show right now. If you're going to, you know, if, if you, yes, I'm saying this. I'm saying, if All you right. want to listen so to others, give me a chance to make Shazad, when are you going to give me a chance to give me When I give you a chance, do not do after, this. After all of this them is, have made this points without knowing the facts, you want to go I, on and I, on, then have the debate without me. Shazad, I think I you're overdoing it. I think you need facts. to stop. And I watch, I'm I telling you now, and I'm telling you both firmly. I am telling you firmly, and I'm telling you for the last time, and I'm telling you politely, Shazad, that please, Understand, I want everyone's view to be heard. Including and, and mine. You can come in when you are, when I let you in. All right, because I will chance. not let you be just an audio, uh, you know, wave over what Kavita Krishna and others are saying. It's terrible manners. I will not allow it. Try it on some other channel. This is the news hour. Please now, All let right. Kavita come in. Kavita. I just want to make the point that uh, the Ames autopsy report did say unnatural death. I believe that is the case. And the CFSL laboratory, however, uh, did not find, uh, you know, their viscera uh, findings or whatever, did not confirm the drug overdose or whatever it is. Now, what are the, ex I am not a doctor. I am not an investigator either. I do not know how to square these two things and I don't, I am not even saying that they can't be squared or whatever. All I am saying is that we need an independent investigation to actually say, well, this report says this. The man who prepared that report says that now today says I was under pressure so there are two aspects here one which Vinod Mehta is saying perfectly rightly for that we need an independent investigation to make out what exactly were the findings what are where the right findings how do we make out which the right findings were a B but we do equally need an investigation into who was putting pressure and why why emails were being written that is an equally important issue that is an equally important issue I want to pull out the, in this report why this is significant we go on fact not simply on the basis of endless rhetoric the point here is I've marked out parts here. In, in this part on the preliminary submissions, he says that it is submitted, and I want viewers to see, it is submitted that the applicant, this is in this case Sudhir Gupta, was asked to prepare a tailor-made autopsy report, giving a clean shit 
irrespective of his professional conclusions after conducting the autopsy of the late sunanda pushkar you know how serious this is yeah. and it's not being put out by some you know, the applicant refused one second so he says i didn't agree it is submitted that the applicant had already formed his opinion on the said autopsy and the same could be produced before the honorable tribunal in a sealed cover if so directed the then president of aims in connivance with the director of aims therefore de decided to illegally purge the seniority of the applicant which means because he did not give in right The, therefore penalized. therefore they he was penalized for it by illegally promoting unfit respondent with so he doesn't get promoted somebody else get promoted true copy of email dated dated 26 1 of shri shashi tarur husband of sunanda pushkar admitting influencing director names for a tailor made autopsy report is the next now it doesn't really admit that he was influencing but that mail does yes, show it, that it shashi tarur was mail. trying to help towards providing one particular medical explanation for why his wife died Can I Now one minute please just a minute I want viewers to just see these facts here. In 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 this page in this page it is said it is submitted that because of the aforementioned reasons and the continuous political interference due to illegal influence of former president of AIMS and the former minister and husband of Sunanda Pushkar the repeated representations of applicant to the president AIMS CVC AIMS director have not been considered. So basically the man says that I was constantly penalized. In another part of this case it is said here It is further submitted that the autopsy report prepared by the applicant is not as per the dictates of the director who had personally called the applicant and asked him to give a clean chit in the Sunanda Pushkar matter. My point is the the issue today Vinod Mehta is not whether it was tampered or not tampered. The issue is and I've the issue is was influence used? Yes. Can I can I please And will 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 the statement of the head of forensic of the All India Institute of Medical Sciences please give us will it will it simply be disregarded? Anup, can you no, please not? As what? Anup, can I please? Anup, Anup, I she one, she minute, one minute, one minute. She died. One minute. She died. She died. Well she di no, 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 no. You stay back and defend. Anup, no. She died. She died according to the report in unnatural circumstances. So it is can clear that they tried to influence the team to can say it was a natural death or it was a normal death, whatever, so that people who are responsible get scot free. Yeah. Let me. Otherwise, no. Nobody. Nobody will hear me. If you interfere But like that, can, so I, I think it's important that before you, you see, have you're making the same no, points. Let me please no, put out something. No, we are not making the same points. We are saying it's very serious can, matter. Again, now, Anna, are you not going to give me a chance? Is that how this debate Anna, is going to function? Don't Then please say it. it doesn't work. No, for you, for you, you want to set an agenda the, and only the, talk the, about the, that. Then you talk the, about the, it. The, the question is, Anna, can I please make my points? No, this is no. You can't. No, no. One second. First of all, first of all, this is the news. Are you answer questions? You don't make your points. You listen to the question. I have no. You are not even listening, and I, I find that I find that terrible, man. No, you you have. Please, woman, you know what? A woman Please listen to the question. Please listen to the question. Madam, I will explain to you this entire. Today, 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 everybody has been told by this doctor that there was yes, pressure to change the report. That. To change, it's very, very I serious agree, matter. Serious. So, so, thank who you for agreeing with me. No, Please tell. No, no, okay, we we'll let him make his point, but keep it keep it short. Yeah. First of all, this entire charge of pressure being applied is it serious? Of course, it is serious. Nobody should apply pressure on a doctor conducting a post mortem. That's absolutely agreeable. This entire thing you are reading out from the allegations made by Dr. Gupta. Yes. These allegations and the entire allegation that he was being pressurized has been considered by AIMS, the institution, and answered in a press conference today. Yes. Sab come on. Come on. But, but, but AIMS is under a cloud. Why? But AIMS is under a cloud. No, no. You, Anna, let me please complete. AIMS is under a cloud. Let me have a minute. At least let me have a minute. Come on. You have to be fair, Your Honor. No, no, AIMS no, is no, under a cloud. No, you have to be fair. Before. This can't go on like Sub, this. You know what? No. You made your point here. I have no, not made my point. Sir, I'm in the middle of my point. As a journalist, I'm not. Yes, but let me. I'm not an investigator. Let me finish. I'm not an investigator. As a journalist, prima facie, what appears to me is clearly pressure was put by the administration of AIMS. This guy put up with it, and finally, he has decided to embarrass them. They have no choice but to deny this. Why? Would you really think anybody? Is heading the department is going to cook up. She was not a minister's wife. Why am I saying she as a journalist? She was not a minister's wife. Do you think this pressure would come from any corner? He is not allowed me to say anything. You are by the chowder. If she was not minister's wife, do you think this pressure? Please, have you decided? I just want to know. Have you decided to keep shouting while I am being shouted? You know, this is what you do. I have been on the show hundreds of times and never heard someone shouting. I leave it to you. Shazad, please do not feel the. Immediate urge to make your point right here and then, Wait. and please hear 
others. Been, you have dominated a large part of the debate, and I it's only fair that I allow the others to have their word in. Shahzad, I have never seen these kind of manners on my show ever. Well, I must say this to you. Well, the kind of, and, and, the, and the question well, that's here is surprising and enough because you, you've had people who've, who've you, gone on. If, no, this is not fair. But the, you, you have to have respect for others' point of view. I Lalita respect, Kumara Mangala. I need to make La, a Lalita Anab, Kumara Mangala has hardly spoken. Anab, here. have you have you the have you question? Tell me, has La, Ames yes or no say debunk these entire theories of the doctor? Yes or no? No, no one second. I'll tell you one thing, uh, Shahzad. A little a piece of advice to you, Shahzad. The CFS there is a there is a bad habit. Don't get into the bad habit of repeating yourself. The email exchanges that you're talking about have all been placed before the. Magistrate inquiry, He's which is God. overseeing the Delhi police. Oh inquiry. God, again, you are repeating it. No, what? So, so now, why your point to me? Point to me. That point to me. To have a probe. How is it any different from what oh, your topic that is? That let's, let's have a relook. Okay, fine. I've that heard that you. Are you in love with your own voice? Respond. Respond to that. Well, I feel that you feel respond that way. To respond to that. Respond to that. Look, Dr. Harshvardhan has made it very clear, and this is the BJP stand that an accusation has been made. He has to look at it from both the medical legal point of view before he rushes into saying. There is going to be a probe, or somebody is guilty, or somebody is not guilty. You can't. When you're in government, you can't just jump into jump to conclusions and shout like the way our friend from the Congress is doing. And this is I'm not, not a political. Uh, this is not politically expedient for us. For God's sake, we did have is, huge problems to solve in this country. One of them is. Please let me finish. Let her speak, Shahzad. Did Harshvardhan not know the press Shazad, conference? Shahzad, let her speak again. I'm telling you, what are you doing? Yeah. But Mr. Tharoor already knew what would have happened. Look at this email and you are talking this about this email. He already knows that this, he already concludes that she, she had a low blood pressure. All this these reasons. Listen, Shashi, listen, Shashi to, listen to this. First of all, listen please, to this. please allow me to explain right. this. Allow, Shashi allow Shashi me to explain Shashi this. Shashi Dr. Shashi Tharoor said he is going to cooperate is, with is all. Is Dr. Shashi Tharoor an MBBS doctor? Yes. No, he no, already knew. He already knew what happened to her. No, but no, not acceptable. So exactly. Why don't you just pass on that piece of paper to me? Is influence peddled by sending on record emails? Is well, influence peddled by sending on record I, emails? I don't understand. Are you seriously <laughs> saying that? Why? Look at that. Are you seriously Look imagining that this is, is the way it happens? Is, uh, uh, second, you are used no. very commonly today. Uh, one no, second. No, no, no. If you think that a press in such a high profile case, influence is going to be peddled by him using no. his official Thanks, email ID. Thanks, Rajiv. I am drawing this to attention of Dr. Mishra of Ames. Please listen to us. And I recall your fear that without regular hydration and salt intake, she could suffer from regular I agree with he already knew he episodes of dangerously pressing. low blood no, pressure clearly, is, clearly, yeah, clearly look at that Ranjana clearly Ji, this Ranjana must Ji. have occurred since she was not Would eating he? or drinking properly for two or three days Ji. Now, it please, is, it is yes. someone who is not a medical by, doctor already Ranjana concludes is that Shashi, Ranjana. Shashi Ranjana. Tharoor she no, it's, it's, it's okay it's yes. Rajiv Basin no Rajiv Basin replies to him this is Shashi Tharoor Anab 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 there are three facts which you are missing A the final report of us AIMS was not mentioned you know, Ames and the Dr. Harshwardhan itself has... Not Doctor is saying I was manipulated. No, he is... The doctor fine. is saying I was manipulated. Uh, one at a time, please. And I'm going has, to Ashok Pandit now who wants to make a point from outside. Ashok Ames Pandit, said the report don't speak not over it. Ashok Pandit. Yes, Ashok Pandit, one at a time. Now. Anab, one, 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 one very important character in this tragedy whom we are trying to forget, who has played a very important role in this murder is Mayor, a Pakistani journalist who has played a very important role and inquiry she should be brought here for investigation. One. Number two, all other AIM doctors who are trying to oppose Gupta is very natural. Is very natural. Is very, na is very natural because they had to save their skin. They have supported uh, the, the pressures which had come in, 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 in the hospital. So they also will be questioned. So line-wise, they all have to be brought and question and investigation has to be done. I again reiterate, Surinda Pushkar cannot commit suicide. There were marks on her, on her, on her, on her neck. So Shashi Tharoor cancelled his trip to Jaipur Film Fest one day earlier. He cancels it. Why does he cancel it? A question has to be asked to Mr. Shashi Tharoor. And Shashi Tharoor Anab, immediately should Anab, be arrested and investigation should be started. That is my point of view. Lalini Singh the and point, 10 other the people point, have the recorded point statements. Is, no, no. And if this is so evident to Ashok Pradhan, are you Pradhan. saying that the Rajnath Singh as MHA is not able I'm not to see Pradhan. that police is manipulating the wrong? Harshwardhan as the health minister is not able to see AIMS is manipulating the wrong? Regardless of what the toxicology of so are you saying that that are saying and that poisoning, let me speak, that poisoning and drugs were not found in her body.
I th what explains yeah. this revelation? Because I, my information is that the autopsy report found that there were 15 injury marks found on her upper body, and also, oh. also Suresh Babu, a deep teeth bite on the edge of her left palm. You don't get teeth bites and injury marks on your upper body because of poisoning. And on top of it now, there is a mail which Shashitaru writes saying, I will pass this information to the director of him. This could be the reason why he died. Tell me, Suresh Babu, is Shashitaru medically qualified? No, no, no. That is, is not the question. Qualified? The question why? here is that Dr. Gupta... Why is it not the is, question? Uh, it's part of the report as categorically says that the injury caused either external or internal injury never lead to a death. The autospogy, the autospy report says that it may be, the, he is suspecting may be due to some poisoning. May be due to some poisoning. That is the report. And no, he but whatever, no, what was, how, how, how did the injury marks get caused? Please tell me. What, what, what did, was there? Do you know, has there been any explanation on the 15 injury marks on the upper body and a deep teeth bite? laboratory report okay. says that it is not due to poison at all. So it can never be a, a, a murder, it can never be a homicide, it can either culpable or not culpable, it cannot be a not it can it can only be a death. That is what my legal knowledge consistently, consciously say. Because this is this is now why what, what we wanted to politicalize the situation. If anybody wants it to politicalize, let them politicalize it. But it is it is doing damage. No, me, no, to the there is, there is no one second. One, one, one minute. One. So, no, 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 Mr. Suresh Babu, Mr. Suresh Babu, you yes. will be aware that you speak to any journalist and they will tell you that the general information was, and I'm saying this with some responsibility, that she was about to do a press conference, she was going to speak to the media, right, Vinod Mehta? No, one second. One, Shazad, sh sh a minute. I'm, I'm asking the question of Vinod Mehta and he has the right to answer. That there was buzz that there was, she was going to do some press conference, she yes. was going to come out with something. We don't know what that something was. We know that there were 15 injury marks on her body, there were deep teeth bites on her left palm, and she dies in mysterious circumstances. The head of forensics says there was political pressure put on me to doctor the report. And Shashi Tharoor is not just any man, he was a minister at that point of time. Vinod Mehta. Shashi Tharoor's conduct needs to be taken into account and he needs to be put into the dock for the pressure that he put and everything else he did. But there is another issue. The other issue is that did Sunanda commit suicide due to overdose of drugs or did she commit murder? Now, we what, must what, also what solve murdered? that problem. Now, yeah, so if that autopsy report now has become very controversial, and if that earlier autopsy report has been tampered or not tampered, etc., why don't we give that autopsy report to somebody else, independent person, and say, please give us a judgment on this? But there is no, there is the, no, no, there is no body to examine. There is no body but to examine. But the autopsy report anymore. is there. But the autopsy report is there. That's what is under question. But the autopsy report pressure. is under question. That's what is under question. That was under pressure. The, no, what's it? Kavita, Kavita. Kavita, Kavita, Kavita. I don't know whether you'd agree, Ranjana. Yeah, I feel that, I feel that, uh, look, uh, the, uh, the fact that the probe has gone on for five months and all these various threads are hanging there and they have not been brought together. We have not been told the cause of injury marks. Was it due to some uh, mysterious disease, which is a rumor, which is a leak, as I said. Not a single... What the no, no, it does. They say, it, if you look at the leaked reports in the media, one second. If you look at the, I, as far as I know, I don't know whether any hospital or doctor has said this on record, that she had lupus or whatever. But I have seen leaked reports in the media saying there's a, uh, uh, there was a medical uh, report found, found in her room that said that she had, was suffering from this mysterious disease called lupus, which does cause such injuries. Okay, it's an autoimmune disease. My, my point is that um, I would ask, how do we get to the facts now? Clearly, the probe that is ongoing now is not enough, I would say. Get because if the probe has probe. not concluded, if it has not given closure now, then I would not trust it. I would say that you do need an independent probe. You do need a probe. Either it can be monitored by a court or it should be... Uh, 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 too many probes, Kavita. I agree 100% with the Kavita. I, I agree 100% with... But what we all agree, no, except Shahzad... What do you think? I am saying my no, opening remark. Okay. All the my opening remark and my final remark. Okay. And my opening and final remark has been 
that should there be a complete thorough probe you're calling it relook somebody's calling it a probe somebody's calling it further look yes of course shashi tharoor himself wants that so that some salacious and speculative issues that are coming up can be avoided it's, a, it's an affidavit so, before the central second. administrative tribunal again, I, don't, I don't know what is salacious yes. about no. it again again yeah. enough yeah. enough it's, it's a very serious matter from somebody's point of view if he's enough. one second this is so, Sabha, that, not that the my lady point. the lady you spoke to enough people the lady, that she was distressed by his conduct okay i am not sure Anna, about the law please, but there is also seconds. something called abetment to suicide yes, so he yeah, he should have i am not advocate just let me finish Sabha, but i have not finished shahzad the minute please complete. let her complete so, so, shashi tharoor lived from the moment he came back to india and then he produced sunanda and we all knew how i knew sunanda she was a very warm Can person off and on and but they they lived in the media limelight he liked it he liked to show off his wife then his wife goes to a seven star please. hotel he is sitting in the congress convention in delhi where once again one saw him over there his wife is talking to journalists talking about how she has been maltreated by him she is found dead the next okay. day the whole thing stank the sake from of the fair beginning play, give me to the end the enough. whole thing the whole thing had a bad her, smell to it and seconds. he got off lightly given the way that he liked the spectacle he liked this uh, he liked the limelight he showed her off in the limelight and there was a lot of talk about i p l and all of this also so the whole thing Anna, never added up it left here. us all with many unanswered questions there has been wild speculation that's all that's Anna, i mean that can i please have to get an independent 30 seconds to have an independent because circumstances are created where women are driven to commit suicide Anna, and if those circumstances are not point. investigated and then you just cover it up by saying that okay it was Anna, overdose of a drug and it is unknown Anna, disease one. and all those issues yeah. then you are certainly please, now look the whole debate right, is open me, now because uh, please, of the I, because of the doctor statement the whole debate is open lalita lalita you know that is lalita one point lalita I feel Anna, there must be one Lalita. additional point made here. Yeah. We are only talking about justice to Shashi Tharoor. What about justice to Sunanda? Absolutely. And if there yeah, was I'm some saying. wrong play, yes. just Anna, because she is gone, yes. it doesn't Anna, mean that we should look for justice for her. Let us speak. No. Whatever, no. The family. I, I, that is, is the whole surprise. I want to say this very emphatically today. Please, family, family is making not a BJP versus a Congress party. No, this is about the woman who goes to family. Family can keep quiet and make it quiet. The point is. But one second. You're not the facts. The point is today. You say today. You say. No, we don't know which facts are correct. No, today. Today, AIM says. What? Today, AIM says, it holds a press conference, and it says this man is terrible. He's got a vested agenda. He's a plagiarist. He's this. He's and that. Now that now that man. I'm asking you this question today. Are you serious? Ames today. Ames today comes out and says all that murderer. against against the head of forensics of Ames because they want to because they want to undermine his credibility. Okay. If they if they undermine his credibility, then they then all the allegations which he has against their system also don't have any credibility. And so Ames is, is, is a Ames is an interested Hushwardan party is in the matter. Absolutely. Harshvardhan is playing along. Is Harshvardhan playing along? Harshvardhan is. Is Harshvardhan? लाइन I'm hardly somebody who that is. It's well, I want to play the pictures of Shashi Tharoor today. Shashi Tharoor, let's play the pictures. Shahzad, don't get impatient. Shashi Tharoor, Shashi Tharoor, you know what? Please, Shashi Tharoor runs away from the cameras. Shashi Tharoor is a Congress Party spokesperson. He runs away from the cameras today. As he said, he's running to, away from the cameras today. All I see, one second, Shahzad. But you're not listening to me, Anna. Shahzad, please now. No, you haven't. You haven't. Let me make my point. Let me make my point. Shahzad, Shahzad, don't come to me. Again, again, Shahzad. I, I think. I think. I think. Can you allow me thirty seconds without interruption? I think. I think. I think. I'm putting. I'm putting. I'm putting this. I'm putting this matter on public record tonight. I think. I think. I'm putting. I'm putting. I'm putting this. I'm putting this matter on public record tonight. That I feel that the manner in which Shahzad Punawala is behaving is not right, and I, Shahzad, a piece of advice to you: don't get so impatient when others are speaking, because if others get you impatient when you are speaking, you no, no, this is this does this does not work. You can have a debate. Conducting this debate itself is questionable because if you don't want to hear my points, then you should tell. Can I please make a point? Mr. Punawala, can I tell you one thing? No, you can't. As far as no, please, Mr. Punawala. 
I'm not going to be threatened. No, you, I'm telling you, walk out right now of the show if you're going to behave I'm like that. I'm not going to walk out here and you then, then accuse Shashi Tharoor. Then please do that. I will because tell you the facts of the case. Because I think you're behaving in a childish and immature manner on the news outro. I will tell you the facts of the case. If you don't want to hear the facts and you want to go with your agenda, say that so. I think say it so. This your version of the facts. And your agenda is not going to be in your agenda. My point is very clear. Now, 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 I've told you what. Are your it? emails, are these emails not before the sub-magistrate? Uh, sub are these emails not before the Delhi police? Again, you're repeating the point. Oh, now, now, how is it in Shazad, please, please keep quiet now. Down. Don't you have any self-respect? Please. But and you I'm don't have a sense of balance. Shazad, this is ridiculous. But you need to be I have never seen such ridiculous pro a, a behavior from anyone. We have debates on the news hour. Perhaps it's the first time that you've come. But if you think that participating in a debate is just speaking ad nauseum over others, it is not acceptable here. And please do not do that on my program. And please do not do that on my program. You're not giving me 30 seconds. And the images of Shashi Tharoor, and uh, we've, you've got enough time. The images of Shashi Tharoor is running away from the cameras here tonight. Now the questions are simply this. Did he send an email? Is he a medically qualified doctor? Is that the right thing to do? When this investigation is opened up, can you dismiss this man as a person having a personal agenda? Can Ames take a final position on the matter? At the same time, why did the head of the forensics department not speak up earlier? Should he have said what he has said earlier? Is it too late in the day to bring those facts to light? By doing so, has the head of the forensic department himself put himself under question. Whatever the, whatever the final result, and we are not here to stand in judgment on what has or has not happened. One thing is clear, there is more than meets the eye on how Sunanda Pushkar died. Thank you very much for joining me on debate number one on the news tonight.